2018 Cadillac CT6 exhibits General Motors' great Super Cruise highlight. It's the following turning point while in transit to a self-ruling future, however GM is being traditionalist about advancing Super Cruise's impressive ability. It helps the driver, GM says. Does it work? Our editors have been trying one this week as the schedule turns and the temperatures drop in Michigan. Additionally, the CT6 is an extremely great car. This is what we think. When I got on the roadway, I set the voyage control, sat tight for the controlling wheel symbol to appear on the instrument bunch, and hit the catch on the directing wheel that resembled a guiding wheel, pretty meta, to be completely forthright. The best segment of the wheel enlightened in a green circular segment, and I felt the heaviness of the guiding lift as the auto started driving itself. I put my feet level on the floor, laid my hands on my knees, and just viewed the street while tuning into a podcast, The Dollop, in the event that you were pondering. Frankly, I experienced difficulty focusing on the sound, as my contemplations were enthralled by the way the auto dealt with the street and activity around me. Without a doubt, I needed to switch to another lane all alone and assume control controlling on exchanges and surface lanes, yet when the AI stared, it had my total certainty. Maybe similarly as amazing, the CT6 was additionally an impact to drive physically. It felt super smooth, with a lot of energy and balance. I delighted in twisting it through 50 mile per hour bends nearly as much as I appreciated being driven. Nearly. Editorial Manager in Chief Greg Migliori, Super Cruise just works. I was overwhelmed that it was so natural to utilize and how well it simply did what it should do. Converging into the teeth of surge hour activity in Metro Detroit, I propped for the most exceedingly awful. I figured I'd be adhered and packed in gridlock and Super Cruise could never get conveyed. To be honest, I was skeptical Super Cruise would work. Be that as it may, at that point I could hit the 70 mph speed restrict and figured, well, allow simply observe about this thing. Like John, I did the two strides to set up SC, and blast, it worked. It trailed the autos before me at an appropriate separation. It braked normally to a stop and afterward continued speed. It backed off when a Jeep Grand Cherokee cut me off. It explored the bends with no issue. I accepted a telephone call and had a ton of certainty the auto would make sense of what to do while I was talking. Super Cruise is the correct strategy for this fleeting time in the business. Cadillac isn't charging this as self-driving. Or maybe, it's touting the framework as a larger amount of voyage control, which bodes well. That is a substantially more brilliant technique than Tesla's for the autopilot framework, which took off too rapidly. I tried autopilot in the Model S and it was cool, however Cadillac is being somewhat more preservationist by the way it advances Super Cruise, and that is better for buyers, 